What is up guys and welcome back to One Shot. I wanted to record this second episode a lot earlier, so I'm sorry about that, but now we are back. Last time we were introduced to Nico, who interestingly enough is not just our player character, but actually our companion. As you can see, we even have some conversations. And this is exactly how the game starts when you take a break. Nico wants to ask me a question. Max, can you hear me? Yes I can! Oh god! This is starting pretty intense. Maybe because I took like a longer break, Nico was afraid that I was gone. Yeah, I can. Oh, phew. What happened? Everything went pitch black for a second. Yeah, of course, Nico. It's just a second for Nico, right? Because the, the world doesn't actually continue when we don't play. And this is what I love. Immediately, I'm right back into one shot. This entire meta gameplay and stuff. I love it. So where do we uh, leave off? We have... That's not our inventory, that's our inventory. We have a lens, a light bulb, which is of course the sun, an empty bottle, and a metal rod. I think that's the last item we got last time. And I already had an idea that we have to use the metal rod for something. I think we left this area last time. Yeah, that's the bed. We had this strange dream last time. So I guess what we should do is explore the docks. Oh, that's nice. I can see a green glow in the distance. In the last episode, we saw a yellow glow in the distance, I believe. In the cave, or in the mine shaft. A green glow in the distance. That might be important later on. And that's an area transition. Oh no, I know, I know, Nico. I remember that, the poison area. I don't want to hurt Nico in any way. We have to protect Nico until the very end of the game, if possible. And I guess that's all we can do here. There is a dock. Is that a fairy? Hello? Um, hello? Just silence. Is it a broken robot? Max, are you there? Yeah. No. Why would you troll Nico? That's terrible. Oh, good. There's a robot here attached to a boat. Okay. It doesn't seem to have power. And its joints are rusted over as well. But I think we should be able to fix it. After all, we'll need to cross this ocean to get to the tower. Okay, that's what I, I think I questioned that in the last episode. How are we gonna get across the water? So we have to power up the robot. This robot doesn't have power. And we have to fix it. Uh, maybe? Does it already work here? Like, for example, if I use the light? Can I use the light on this robot? No, okay. So, uh, it doesn't work like that, I assume. The last thing I'm gonna go for... Maybe I can actually combine anything. I'm not gonna smash the bottle. Max! I am not gonna smash the sun! Why not, Nico? You know, no, no risk, no fun. Okay, this still doesn't work. So, you do... I think you do have to try out all of the options, all of the possibilities. If you want to get progress going. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is just another dock, right? A green glow. Alright, with this metal rod, I think I'm gonna go back to uh, the south area and try to find any other item. Maybe I can combine it with something. This is our map, by the way, or pretty much the map, the fast travel options. So, um, I think the cliffs, or maybe the entrance? The entrance is probably the entrance, I guess, like the beginning of the game, right? Yeah, I think we left here, and then we explored the world. So what I'm gonna try is maybe outpost? Lookout point is, I think... Ah, lookout point are the caves, and this is this dude. Are there more questions? I don't think so. I think we asked everything. Was there anything in here that we still have to do? It won't turn on. Maybe, like, one idea, I guess, is use the metal rod on the computer? No, we can't smash the computer. The pipe won't fit under the cracks, Max. We'll need to flatten it somehow! Aw, oh, Nico, I love you. Nico, you're such a genius. You're, you're, you're the best. You're the best help. You're the best companion in the world. Because that means we have to go into the... I guess the laboratory or the factory. And there it is. We have to use the rod in here. Do you want me to crush the pipe in here, Max? But I don't want to get close. Yeah, Nico, be careful, please. Ah, oh, Nico, that was scary. But you did it, Nico! Well done, makeshift crowbar! Okay, made from a pipe. So now we got that, now we can go back. Hello, robot dude. I'm just passing through. Gonna open up this chest, that's gonna be very, very interesting. What's gonna be in here? This bar should open it. 
Nice, Nico. There's a little metal cube and some broken glass. Looks like what used to be a machine part. A solar battery! Oh, could this already be for the robot? Um, can I maybe do anything with the broken battery? Now we can't. But it feels like we're on the right track. Um, so maybe combine something else? The lens pops right in! Now we have an empty battery! An intact and rechargeable battery. Maybe now I can recharge it? Yeah, Nico, come on. I would have never thought of that. Good thinking, Max. Oh, it's already fully charged. That was fast. Okay, this is awesome, dude. Just in the inventory. We already progressed so much. Can we now maybe charge the bottle? Yeah, no, it's not gonna work. Can combine those. Okay, I guess that's it. Is it really that simple? Now we can use the ferry. But that seems very odd because it seems like we have to go to the to the dock not to the docks but to the mine shaft first. So how do I do that? Um docks, there we go. And now we have to go down and it should be right here. Hello robot dude. Hello. This robot doesn't have power. So can I just equip the battery now and then do this? This battery is not supposed to be for the robot. Okay, never mind. So I was wrong. So we have to put the battery somewhere else. There we go. Let's hope the charge battery does something. This might be a little bit over the top because this looks like a gigantic generator of some sort. Okay, it's actually working. Whoa. Yo, Nico, we did it. Did we lose the battery now? Yeah, we did. What the... Oh. Oh, I saw... Oh no, I'm so sorry again! <laughs> I don't want to get shocked again, Max. Well then use the crowbar. Come on, dude. I mean, I guess, fine. Is anything gonna be changed now outside? Oh! What? What the, what, 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 what? Nico, look at that! We, 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 I guess, resurrected is the wrong word. We activated all of the robots. I am functional! Did you power the generator? I guess we did. Right, Max? Yeah. Awesome! Now we can use the- we can use the computer! Hello, robot, dude! I am functional, I can walk! Oh, I'm so happy! Okay, let's not smash the computer. Let's just use it. I see you've made progress in this world, Max. Um, I just wanted to say... I just noticed a change on my computer, in my computer files. That's a little bit odd. I'm gonna check that! Later on, I just want to see what the game is gonna tell me. I see you've made progress in this world, Max. But that progress stops here. I believe you need a code to unlock a certain box! The code no longer exists in this world. Do you understand what this means, Max? Yes, I do. Start looking. I already found it! That is random, I had the file open- or the folder open. That is creepy and a little spooky. But I love it so far. So I think we're done with this area. And now I just have to check the file. There's gonna be a code on your computer, in your computer files. And that's gonna open up the box that we found in the last episode, right? Um, in that kind of maze with all of the walkways. Alright, so this is document.oneshot, a file on my computer. And it says, Steer Scrambled. I something something message to you and I'm afraid I must make it brief I have left you a journal a part of which is written in a language that blah 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 you don't understand however I'll read it and you will know what to do du -du 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 -du. look for a metal safe in the quarry to the east somewhere between the ocean and the lookout point we already know that and the code you need is 569093 so we need to remember that and then input the code and here we are so let's do it. A metal safe. Yeah, yeah. Um, so five, six, nine, zero, nine, three. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, it worked. Yeah, Nico. I'm sure you don't know how I figured that out. How did you know the code, Max? I still don't remember seeing one. Oh no, Nico. I wish I could tell you. Yeah, there we go. I have my ways. No, let's be honest. Let's be an honest companion with Nico. I had some help. Really? From who? Don't worry about it. Okay. What's in the safe, Nico? Oh, right. Let's see. 
I found a gas mask. That's what I assumed. That is perfect. There's this weird looking book. I can't read it though. Not that I can't read or anything, because I can. I just don't know what language this is. Can we check it out? Oh! Whoa! Whoa, 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 stop it. Stop the horror. What is that? I don't really want to know. Are we corrupting the world? It's empty. I hope we're not doing anything bad. The gas mask. The strange journal, though. Can we maybe uh, burn it? <laughs> no? Can I smash it? Can I smash the gas mask? I wear it when I have to. Okay. Okay, that's good. So you can't combine it with anything. Nico is just gonna equip it automatically. What is that, though? Can I go all the way around and interact with that glitch? No, I can't. That is creepy. I hope we're not actually destroying the world. And the sun is like evil or something. An evil entity or god. And we're being corrupted. So now Nico is gonna put on this face. The gas mask. Look at that. Look what the heck, Nico. You look awesome. You look so cool. I should be fine with this mask on. Alright. New area. New progress. Hopefully we don't have a timer. Honestly, I don't want to... Uh, put Nico into any danger if we don't have to. So I'm gonna try to make it quick. I'm gonna try to sprint. Because who wants to be in a poisonous area for too long? Okay, we have another area. That is an important object. It's a pair of rubber gloves. They're a bit heavy. Interesting. Can I... Ah, oh, wait. To prevent chemical damage. Was there any point where we had to prevent chemical damage? Alright. I'm gonna- I'm gonna try to remember that. Hey, hey, robot! Hello, person! The robot assembly and repair services have been discontinued at the Barrens. If you have further inquiry, please contact the head engineer. Thanks! Nice robot! And you, what about you? Hey! Hey, 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 stop! Hey, hello! Hello? Hello, person! Welcome to the old chemical processing plant! Maybe we just need the gloves in this area? Which is a little bit straightforward, but I guess it works. Most of the equipment has already been relocated. Alright, alright. So, uh, we won't find too many things here, I guess. A page ripped out of a book. I cannot overstate the importance of cleaning solvents in this environment. Here is a simple recipe using the alternative method discussed in the last chapter. Utilizing the natural properties of blue phosphor. Okay? Acidic gas and blue phosphor. Rare form. Do we have to note that down? Do we need these two things? In a well-ventilated area, direct the gas into your container of choice. Seal immediately. That's the end of the page. Do we have to contain, like, chemicals or something? And why would we do that? Why would we ever need to do that? Nico doesn't seem like the violent or destructive kind of person. The door is all boarded up. The board seems loose, though. I should be able to pull them off with the right tool. Don't we have the crowbar still? Good thing I kept this crowbar. Good going, Nico. A little scary. What's gonna be inside here? What a workout. Oh my god, it's the robot army. Hello. A bunch of robots without power. Why, are, why don't they have power, but the other ones do? I guess the generator can only do so much. Okay. I guess that's always the same, but there has to be a reason why we uh, got here. There's a note. A rusty robot? Oh, is, is that a keycard? Is that a keycard? Let's read the note first. Oh wait, without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. Shake vigorously to initiate the reaction and use it as soon as possible. If the elements begin to separate, you need to shake further. Hand protection is critical. Okay, so that's why we have the gloves. Because the resulting acid is stronger than common household cleaners. <laughs> Don't worry, Nico. It's a good thing I'm here. I, I'm gonna try to help and not get you hurt. A cleaning sponge with a rough surface. Nice. Ah, where is it? The sponge. Can we do anything right now? Oh, no, wait, no? Okay, never mind. I guess we don't have to do anything. This is getting a little bit complicated. There are so many things we could try to use. But I just have to figure out... Maybe I have to talk with more people now? Now that I have the generator active? And I guess I can't just check around here, right? I shouldn't be too uh, hasty. I shouldn't try to rush. Because look at that, a random note. There's something weird about the robots who get sent to work near the gas fields. They appear to accumulate rust at a much slower rate than the others. 
The few who work directly with gas harvesting look practically new. Is that a result of the atmosphere? Or am I just seeing things? So maybe gas has actually some positive properties on robots? And that is the area. Okay, so we can actually pass through the entire vent area now with the gas mask. So I guess it also functions sort of as a shortcut, which is nice. Wait a minute, what is that? Is that a new area? I traveled to what is called the dormitories. But I don't remember ever being here because if we, if we take a look at this... Look at this, I never, I've never seen that before. Oh no, the robots! It's like for the robots! Hi! What are you doing up there? I am stationed here. By yourself? Yes! Oh, okay. Cool, cool robot. Oh, what is this? A picture of a robot. I've never been around so many robots before. Neither have I, Nico. Or any robots at all. I mean, I see them in cartoons and stuff, but I've never seen one in person. They're pretty neat, don't you think? Hey, Nico, do a robot voice. Yes, please. Uh, what? Try talking like a robot. Um, ahem. <coughs> People- Whoa! I'm a robot and I eat batteries instead of normal people food. That is amazing, Nico! That is not correct. Is it the robot up there? I think so. Robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. In fact, robots do not possess digestive systems. Some robots do not even have mouths. Thanks for the random information, robot. I didn't want to offend you. You made me look silly. No! Give me an achievement. <laughs> no, okay, no achievement. I'm sorry, Nico. But it was fun, right? Can we get up there? Hello. Hi. What are you doing up there? Okay, that's the same. So I can't actually do anything? Seriously? An entire area just for the randomness here? I guess that's okay. Can we interact with it again? A picture of a robot. All right, Nico, let's go back. Interesting area. It even has different music. And there's another building. Oh, look, a robot. Checking, checking. Terminal does not respond. This is a problem. Okay. Some of the ink on this page is faded. Likely due to some sort of electrical or magnetic inf interference. I'm afraid this operation can no longer be sustained if the servers continue to fail so much that maintenance cannot keep up the pace. Fortunately, it does not seem to be happening to the robots, at least not at a significant rate. Time will tell. Alright, another robot. All of these terminals do not boot. I am not sure what to do now. I'm sorry! I activated all of the robots, but they kind of lost their cause because nothing is working. Do you need any help? I'm good, thanks. No, Nico, we do need help. We're kind of stuck right now. There are so many buildings! I assume this is just a random robot area. And maybe it's not important? Because look, there's even more now. I remember being taught in school about how the water surrounding the forest stretched until the boundaries of space. But at some point, the prehistoric oceans receded, forming what is now the Barrens. I wonder where all that water went. Alright, I do have to say, it's not scary, but it's a nice type of creepy, because the world is so interesting and so confusing as well. I kind of like it. Look at that ladder. Do we want to go up there, Nico? Or are you scared? Okay, you know what? I'm afraid of heights too, I will admit. So uh, don't worry, Nico. We're not gonna get up there. We're gonna go out again. Hello, organic person who is alive. The infirmary is up ahead. Look at that. Uh, can we interact with this crazy thing? Infirmary. That is a very fancy sign. No wooden sign or anything. Just like... I don't even know, this is the future, guys. Okay, more notes. Hey, sweetie. Six more weeks until you can come home. About time, huh? Gosh, I can't imagine living in that awful capsule wall dorm thing. But guess what? Soon, you'll get to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Right back soon, love, mom. Ah. That's weird, because these are all robots, right? So who was that directed at? Looks like we're supposed to pack stuff for the evacuation starting today. I wish these books weren't so heavy. It's gonna be a pain to carry them onto the ship. But they're by the author. I can't just throw them away. The author? Do you mean the author? The most famous of all? 
Anything up here? Or is Nico still afraid of ladders? If that's the case, don't worry, Nico. I'm not gonna force you. Evacuation? At such a short notice? I can't believe this. First the sun dies, now I'm out of a job. Some sort of mechanical drawing. Okay, and I'm gonna assume... Oh, there's a dead robot? No! Oh, that's so sad. Okay, that's actually really sad. Did we talk to you? Do you need any help? I'm good, thanks. Okay, sorry, sorry. Bye. Now I'm gonna actually go into the infirmary because I assume... Yeah, this is gonna be important. Hello, medic. Medic robot. Person of organic makeup. Welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries? Um, scan complete. Injuries detected? None. Treatment required? None. You are good to go. Thanks? Nice, Nico. Be happy, you know? Every time you go to the doctor and everything is fine, be happy and steal from them, because why not? It's a box of medical tools. Most of them are broken or rusted, but this plastic syringe seems to be okay. Ah! Ah, it's, it's all coming together, because we we were talking about, like, chemicals, right? And the syringe might work with that. Can we maybe do this? No? Maybe the bottle? Maybe we have to do the bottle, and then use the syringe on the bottle, and then we have it in the syringe, and then we do uh, crazy stuff and all over the place, I have no idea. Hello, person. Are you seeking admission into the infirmary? No? Oh, carry on then. Alright, I guess all we wanted is the syringe, and that's it for the infirmary. So it was important, but not that big. Ah, I see. Okay, sorry, I kind of messed up before. This is the same thing, right? Yeah, yeah, the gas fields. So what I did before is I derped around here, I ran around, and I ran to the left. And I thought this was the beginning again. I thought the gas, the vent field, is just a shortcut. But it actually brought us to a new area. This here, the dormitories. And that's why I was able to fast travel there. Okay, so now I get it. And I think we're pretty much done with everything here. This is the robot one, right? Is it? Yeah, that's the dude. Oh, the fields actually continue. This is creepy. I don't like stuff like that. Like very open and empty fields. And there are some fountains here too. Weird, why is this poison too? There aren't any like vent things where the poison stuff comes out. No, there it is, okay. This vent is on the ground. All the others are taller than me. Initially, the amount of noxious fumes emitted by the natural gas vents caught our team off guard. Thank goodness the medical team reacted as quickly as they did. Despite its failure, that first expedition did bring up some interesting observations about the barrens. We found that there is not one, but two such vent zones. With fumes being pumped out at such high concentrations, it seems a miracle that the gas hasn't spread anywhere else. Our biologists concluded that the phosphor shrimp in the crater pools were actively consuming the gas. The shrimp in the ocean also prevent the gas from wafting off into the glen. If that's the case, then we owe a lot to these little guys. Okay, nice little backstory, you know, included in just a little area, which might be completely pointless otherwise. Just if you want to know more about the story and the world, go there and you're gonna find out. I love it. And now I'm gonna go left. What the heck is that? Is that a gas bubble? This pond sure looks different. The water looks like jelly? It's formed a bubble over the surface of the pond. That is odd. Can we break it? This pond sure looks different. I don't think so. Maybe use the bottle or the syringe? Yeah, 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 dude! Nico, do it! It's kind of like a funnel, but the liquid might be a bit too thick. Ah, okay, I get it. Oh, it actually went in. Never mind. Gross. <laughs> okay, we have a filled syringe. Can we now put it into the bottle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I'm a doctor. Dude, I love it. Bottle of pond water. It has the consistency of glue. And now, can we get it back out? No? The sponge, maybe? Wait. I can't combine those. Maybe make it wet? No, that doesn't make sense. Rubber gloves? No, okay. This puncher looks different. Anything else we can do now? Yeah, there's already some stuff in this. Okay. This is so cool! I'm kinda actually happy that I'm figuring out these random combinations. The sky is dark. That it is. Do you know when the sun will be back up? We're working on it. Huh? Alright, we're actually at the docks. Wait, is that robot activated now? 
Yes! Oh, 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 what is this? I am functional! The functional funky robot? Was it you who fixed the generator? Well, Max helped me, but yeah. Hello, nice to meet you. I am Ro Robot 310. Would you like me to take you somewhere? Hello? What? Oh god, are you okay? I cannot move. Well, you're still really rusty. Oh, and maybe now I have to get rid of the rust with the water? Max and I will find a way to help you. Dude, the, the bond, the, the, the thing, hang in there. Do it! No? Just... Maybe the sponge, actually. A sponge alone isn't going... Well, then do this. Huh? Wait a minute. This is weird, because we have bottle of pond water. Oh, wait! Maybe I need some chemical stuff. But uh, Maybe pond water was something magical, I assumed. But maybe we actually need something chemical. So what I'm gonna try is I'm gonna travel back to the... The shrimp swamp? No. Uh, where was it? Was it the old factory? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it, right? Maybe I can use it somewhere here. No, that's only where we got the things from in the first place. So maybe we have to go back to the mines. Is that gonna work? I'm gonna try to go back to lookout point. Maybe this character is also gonna help us. Do you need further assistance? No. I can't reach the top. Look at that. That is the clue, because Nico pointed out that one of them was really small. So we have to find that one again, right there, and then, then we can use the bottle? I guess you want me to fill the bottle with this gas, Max? Alright, let me just turn this bottle upside down. Wear your gloves, and there goes the pond water. But at least we have the smoke. Wait. Is that... Wait, now I'm confused. Did we have to do that in the first place? Wait one one second. Um, get the bottle of smoke and do it here. Yeah? Yeah? There goes the smoke. Okay. Oh no, oh no. This is gonna be uh, confusing. What do I need to do? Do I need the smoke? Or do I need the pond water? Hang on, did I just miss this last time? Five new positions available at the mines. Housing and other provisions included. First come, first serve. And then on the left side, another one. Reminder to all workers, the rarest form of blue phosphor is found during the phosphor shrimp spawn period. Do we need that? If you observe a pond with a bubbled over surface, please contact management immediately. We will dispatch a harvest team. Okay, wait, what did it say? The rarest form. So, yeah, we actually do need phosphor. Now I quickly need to go back to the chemical site, because I think that's where our tip was. There's writing of this one. Oh, I wasn't in here before? The guardian of the residential area. And this is just... It's looking a little dim. Maybe... Uh... Ah, this is so weird. Like, I'm never sure if it's just a random little info. There's something with squares, I'm not sure what they mean. Bummer. Looks like they won't be able to transport most of these surplus spots to the city. But I suppose the robots are b busy enough. Ah, uh, maybe we can get a tip here? They're evacuating the robots. No sense in keeping them in the barrens. I wonder if the engineer is going to. Okay, it doesn't see- What the heck? No, please, no. That's freaking- What the heck is the final boss right there? Nico, are you ready? Do you have your sword or gun? We're gonna fight a boss. Look at that thing. Let's go. I have the sun in my hand. Oh, hello. Okay, it's actually friendly. What are you doing here? Huh? A living person, such as yourself, should have evacuated this place long ago. But I just got here. To this world, I mean. See? I have the sun. Oh, the messiah. I do not know what to say. Greeting you was not part of my programming. Have you spoken to ProfitBot? I think so, yeah. ProfitBot was built with the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? He cannot speak with anyone else. At least not with ease. Oh, that's kind of sad. What are you built for then? My purpose is to guard this settlement. Even though the residents have long gone, I must remain. Ah. Why though? 
I have not been tamed. Tamed? It was not worth the effort. Alright, so... Uh, there were a bunch of comments which explained to me what tamed means. So, it's basically just if a robot has its own will and, like, own thoughts and stuff. If it's actually able to think, then it's tamed, I think. If I understood that right. And we're back here. Okay, that's exactly where I wanted to go in the first place. Because that's where... Yeah, 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 that's where the chemical area, the factory, the second factory is supposed to be, right there. And I'm pretty sure there was a tip here for us. Um, was it on the right side? I think it was here. Okay, let's see. A simple recipe. We need gas and blue phosphor. Ah, so we need the smoke and the phosphor. Okay. In a well-ventilated area, direct the gas into your container of choice, and we sealed it. Oh! And then part two was up there? Was that right? Robot, get out of the way! Ro wh robot! What a troll! Did you see that? Okay, that's part two. Without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. So we need smoke. And then we need to inject it. If the elements begin to separate, you need to shake. And hand protection is critical. Okay, so we have the gloves. And we have the smoke. So all we need to do is get the smoke. Put that pond water into the syringe. And then we're done. Um, is it in this area? I think it was around here. There we go. So we need to get the syringe and do this. Yeah, yeah, we're filling it up. Nice going. And now, we need to somehow get the syringe into the bottle without opening it. So, uh, there has to be a way for us to, ah, uh, uh, to, uh, like, poke a hole into it. Yeah, through the cork. It's like I'm a doctor. Yeah, yeah, okay, we did it! Now shake it. It changed color. Now we have bottle of acid. And now, alright, we got it. Nice going, Nico. Now we can go to the docks. And acid is definitely gonna help with some rust, I assume. Hopefully I'm not just gonna burn away the robot. Hang in there. Dude, we have acid. Come on. I need something I can use to wash the robot with. Not that? Oh, maybe this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the sponge. And I have these gloves. That is perfect. And now, I hope this works. We have a wet sponge. Let's go. Hold still. I have no other choice. This freaking music is so good. There. How's that? I... I can move again! Thank you! Heart! Oh yes! I am able to fulfill my purpose again. Where would you like to go? Can you take me so straight to the tower? Just fly up to the tower? Calculating. Closest destination to the tower is... The Glen. Port number... Error? Uh-oh. I'm gonna assume that's not good. It is not good at all. Once again, I cannot follow my programming. Do we have to, like, input some sort of freaking, like, GPS into you as well now? Is there anything I can do to help? In the event of an error, you should speak with the head engineer. She will know what to do. Alright, we know where to go. That is lookout point. Hello there. Excuse me again, miss. I found a robot who can take me towards the tower, but it's having some trouble, so it told me to talk to you. Alright, what is the issue? It said something about its navigation circuits being fried. Just the navigation circuits? Apparently. Max and I fixed everything else, I think. Hmm. I have something that may help. Robots have the ability to trace material from their source locations. If you let the robot borrow this, then its backup tracking system should activate. Ooh, that! Look at that! That is an awesome little picture. Is that like a necklace or medallion? Thank you, silver! I think it's silver. Did we find this out in the last episode? I remember a name silver, so I'm just gonna assume it's silver. Amber found from the glen. What's the thing inside the amber? The black clover? That's a common plant in our world. It's also... Huh? I'm not sure if I can bear to part with this. 
My programming says yes, but I still feel conflicted. Then come with me! Join me! We are gonna be the trio! The best group ever! Never mind. You need to finish your mission more than I need a keepsake. Here. Oh, thank you! Din, 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 din. Thank you! Before I go, is there anything I can do in return? Actually, do you know how to play chess? No! No, I'm gonna quit the video immediately. I'm not gonna freaking suck at chess. <laughs> sort of. I've played it with some older kids before. Will you play a game with me? I guess it's the least I could do. Seriously? Okay, okay. I don't have to play chess. I don't have to embarrass myself in front of all of you guys. Hey, you're really good at this. Thank you. It was built into my code. Ah. So, uh, what's it like? Being a robot and all. I've talked to other robots and they all say something about programming and code and stuff. Even you did, just now. It's a little hard to understand sometimes. I know. Most of the robots here are not tamed. Tamed? Watch out. There goes my bishop! Whoa! Sneaky! In the middle of the conversation! Taming is complicated. Okay, so we get an explanation anyway. That's nice to know. How complicated exactly? There goes my other bishop! I can't really explain what tamed robots are, but I'm one of them. All the other tamed robots have been moved to other regions. Exactly where, I don't know. Oh? Well, you were moved too, right? But you were brought back and made the head engineer? Something like that? There goes my little horse, Nico! <laughs> On the night, right. Have you ever been to any other regions? I heard that there's two more. In the past, yes. I still have the data, the coordinates, the memories. I don't know how much of that still holds true. The world may be a very different place now. Because the sun is gone? No. I said this already, didn't I? The sun probably won't save the world. The decaying started back before the sun went out. The sun's sudden death was just the tipping point, and things went south really fast after that. Oh. Then... There's nothing I can do? Check. Oh no! Dude! That's so mean! When did your queen get there? The only thing you can do is complete your pilgrimage. In a way, you are only supposed to be a second chance for the people. Just like how the Barons was only supposed to be a second chance for me. There's no guarantee that things will work out. But... Checkmate. Well, We lost! Nico! Good going! But I guess... Is this optional? Like... Imagine that this is all optional and there are like multiple endings where if you if you don't do this Then you're gonna lose this character or something like crazy like that. I have no idea. All right. Guess I've kept you long enough Thank you for listening. I hope you get home safely. Thank you also. Oh Okay, she's still there Off you go. There's no reason for you to linger in the barrens. Oh, that's actually it there. That's not it. What about the mines? Is that really just all we had to do here? Is there just nothing else right there? I'm gonna do it one more time. Safety violation, all right. Just because why not? And then I guess it's time to fast travel. Oh, what? Um, this is a little bit creepy. Why can I not fast travel? All right, maybe I can only fast travel from here. Maybe that makes sense. Okay, good. I was a little worried there. Let's go to the docks and let's go talk to the robot. Have you talked to the head engineer yet? She lives near the mine entrance. I would have given you the coordinates, but all right, we have to use the amber. Yeah. Whoa. That's a little bit creepy. Oh, this is amber from the Glen. I can remember now! Activating tracking system, setting course... Wait... This boat is over capacity! You'll need to leave behind some of your possessions. Okay, that's not bad. Just cleaning out the inventory since we don't need stuff anymore. Yeah, the crowbar or the gas mask and gloves. Get rid of it, that is acceptable. Onwards we go. Let's go, Nico! That is adorable, Nico. Having the time of all of our lives, dude. Nico, we're just having a great time. But there is a look, like an uncertain look on Nico's face.
Oh, wow. No freaking way, this is beautiful. Here is your stop, the glen. The sun isn't even helping that much because of all of the slime. Or what, whatever that is in the air. There should be a village to the north, but that's all I can recall. That's good to know. Farewell. May your mission be a success. Are you, are you leaving? Yes. I must return to my station. But you'll be all alone again. It's okay. I have not been tamed. Dude, this is a little bit sad with all the not tamed robots. Okay. Goodbye. The horizon is glowing blue. Look at the grass. This is so beautiful. So this is all we have right now. And the strange journal. Interesting that we still kept that. Oh, I love the sound effect. Oh, that's satisfying. Oh, yeah. And now I guess I can go up real quick. So we're gonna get to the village, I assume. But I do think that I'm gonna stop it here. In a bit. Okay, we do have one more cutscene. Ah, we're gonna see the village in the distance. Dude, I love these little cutscenes. They're so well made. Really, really nice visuals. And here we are. Whoa, this is... This is odd. This is like an entire building. Look at that, Nico. That's awesome. But okay, we're gonna stop, I think, here on top of this building. That's gonna be where I'm gonna end this video. And that was pretty cool. I have to say... I was not completely sure about the gameplay with the puzzle elements and like the combining, but it went so well and it really didn't make me get stuck at any point and that just made it really satisfying and really fun to play and of course we had that little creepy moment where we had to like go into the computer file and get the password. Little things like that really make one shot seem awesome so far. So I'm pretty excited for the future of the game. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you liked the video and until next time, take care.